Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be listening to a brand new album that was just released. I'm talking about Tove Lo's new album and it's called Sunshine Kitty. Sunshine Kitty is Tove Lo's first project in two years since 2017's Blue Lips and that album, you guys, one of my favorite albums of that entire year. So underrated. Tove Lo is underrated in general. She's a brilliant songwriter. The lyrics always are too deep for me, especially her ballads. She's a wonderful singer, she's a great artist, and I think she deserves way more recognition. Blue Lips and Ladywood are some of the best pop albums that I can think of in recent memory. And she's honestly such a great performer. I think the last time I saw her was at LA Pride. I think that was also in 2017, so that was probably for Blue Lips. Fantastic, man. Like, she just knows how to put on a show. And I've seen her a good handful of times. She's just getting better every time. I love how her artistry and music has grown over the years. She's definitely finding herself and experimenting with different sounds, and I think that is so admirable in an artist. She's released several songs from this album already, like Glad He's Gone, which is honestly one of my favorite songs of the entire year. It's been on repeat since it's basically been out, and whenever I don't even know what to listen to, that's the song that pops into my head first. I've also heard Bad As The Boys, and of course Really Don't Like You, and that features Kylie Minogue, THE Kylie Minogue. Like, this album is full of so many great and interesting features, and I can't wait to hear this entire project for the very first time with you guys. It's going to be a treat. I can't wait to listen to everything. And yeah, you guys, without much further ado, let's just start listening to Tove Lo's brand new album. Once again, it's called Sunshine Kitty. If you've never seen any one of my reactions before, I play everything right here on my laptop. So I'm going to be looking up and down because I also love reading the lyrics as I listen to the music. I think it helps me understand it better, have a deeper connection to it, and just relate to it more overall. So if I'm looking up and down, it's because I am reading the lyrics. So track number one is called Gritty Pretty, and it is an intro to the album. Tovlo has had intros on every single album that she's released, so I think that's great, the consistency. I think it's really cool too, because not too many people do intros or interludes, and I think all of hers have always set the stage about what we really are going to get into. I think that's wonderful, and yeah, I'm just excited to listen to this. Once again, track one is called Gritty Pretty. Alright, so we have like a voicemail. In Italian, too. <laughs> I'm reading the lyrics right here on Genius, and I'm gonna tell you exactly what that message said. It's crazy. <laughs> Alright, we have some elements of Glad He's Gone, which is the next song, so love that. Love that segue. Okay, and yeah, that transition was perfect. We're about to listen to track two, but I want to read exactly what that voice message did say. So it is in Italian, and it translates to English as follows. Well, this is Matteo. Have you heard about Uma? I know how it feels. But remember, you can't eat the same dish every day, and with dish, I mean pussy. So, of course, Tovlo has always used the vagina as a symbol in a lot of her music. I mean, Blue Lips, Ladywood, her logo even incorporating a very vulva-esque shape. She uses that imagery a lot in her music, so not surprising to me in this intro that we just flat out have a reference to pussy. I think that's great. I loved the end of this intro. I loved the elements of Glad He's Gone. That transition was so smooth. And to be honest, when we listen to track two right now, I'm actually just going to play the last 10 seconds of the intro so you guys can hear the transition once again. I really love this intro. I think it's a great way to set the stage for this album and just go right into track number two. Track number two, once again, is Glad He's Gone. Like I mentioned earlier, it's one of my favorite songs that I've heard for the entire year. It's just been on an endless loop. It's just so catchy, one of the best pop songs I've heard all year by far. And I just think it's honestly a masterpiece. It's one of her best songs to date. And yeah, let's just listen to it a bit. If you haven't heard it before, I'm gonna play it, but I know a lot of you have heard it and you wanna hear the new songs. So I'll play a bit of it and then we'll just move on with the rest of the album. Once again, track number two is Glad He's Gone. Such a great transition. He's got a boyfriend. Every day cause they got problems. He loves being fucking hard to please. Like I honestly can't wait to hear this song live. It's just gonna be so much fun. Like, how can you not like this song? Like, if you don't like this song, 
we have issues because this song is so damn good. It's so catchy. It's so fun. I love the lyrics. They're so playful. And also, if you haven't watched the music video, that video is so damn hilarious. It's awesome. Again, one of the better videos I've seen for the entire year. I'll be linking it right here on the screen and also in the description box right down below. This song is just so fun. Like, how can you not enjoy it? It's just amazing. Baby, no tears for that stuff got you and me under each other's wing. Honestly, so sorry I keep singing. It's just so damn catchy. I can't help it. It's such a great song. Okay, you guys, that was track number two, Glad He's Gone. I don't even think I have to say it, but I love it. It's just so great. It was instant love for me. Such a great damn song. So playful. So just, it's, like I said, I think it's honestly a masterpiece. It's fantastic. One of her better songs, like, ever. Like, one of the best things she's ever made, honestly, in my opinion. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love the music video. I love the lyrics. I love the melody. It's just so... Ugh, so damn good. I can go on and on about it, but yeah, I love that song and it's honestly just gonna stay in my love pile forever. Track number three is called Bad as the Boys and it features Alma. I've heard this song a few times. I love it. I think it's great. If you haven't heard it, I'll be playing it. And if you have, I know this was released earlier, so I'll play a bit of it and then we'll move on to the newer songs because I know that's what you guys are here for. So yeah, once again, track number three is Bad as the Boys featuring Alma. Such a damn good instrumental, like it makes me want to dance. Great lyrics. So visually stimulating, you really can picture it. We got Alma right here. Love the vocal effects that we have on this album. A bit of her signature as well. So damn good. Such a great outro, man. Okay, you guys, that was track number three. That was Bad As The Boys featuring Alma. And honestly, I love it. Super catchy, love the instrumental. Really just makes me want to dance the entire time. It just has such a good energy, a great vibe, great lyrics. Like I said, it's so visually stimulating. I really can picture the story that is being told through the song. It's just so good. And then I think Alma on the song is so, so good. They blend together and harmonize together perfectly. A great feature, a great addition to this track. And honestly, I'm so glad that she's even on it. I don't know much of her other music. I don't even think I know anything other besides this one, to be totally honest. But she is so good on this song. Tove is amazing. And yeah, that's obviously gonna go in my love pile. Track number four is called Sweet Talk My Heart. I think this was just released like right before the album, but I have not listened to it yet, so it's gonna be my first time. And yeah, track number four, Sweet Talk My Heart. Okay. Seems like we're taking it down a bit. I really like the phrasing in the song. Ooh. Mm, yeah, love this. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Okay, I was not expecting that instrumental drop in the chorus, but ooh, that was so hot. I love that. Really great, great start so far. Again, lyrics, so good. Lots of layers to the production too. Really, really sexy. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, I love it. Ah, oh, this is so good. There's like something like jingling in the production. The little things like that. I just love that. Okay, you guys, that was track number four, Sweet Talk My Heart. Love it. So damn good. Her vocals and that pre-chorus. I love it. It was so damn good. I loved it. Ah, we're off to an amazing start. We're already four tracks in and I've loved 
all of them, even the intro. Ugh, this is, I'm, I'm just like too excited right now. I'm like so happy. Everything has been fantastic. I love that song, so good. I love the instrumental change in the bridge and in the chorus. So, so good. I love the phrasing in the song. And once again, lyrically, it was superb. I think it was fantastic. And we're just doing so good right now. I love this so, so much. Track number five is called Stay Over. Damn. Oh. Woo. Come through production, yes. That might be my favorite lyric on this album so far. Also might be my favorite pre-chorus. So damn catchy. Love that. Whew, you guys, that was track number five that was Stay Over, and honestly, I loved it. <sighs> this is just like exceeding the expectations I've had so far, honestly. This was so, so good. Again, lyrically, great. Really just creates that image in your head, tells a story. Vocals, fantastic. Production is so solid. I loved the end of that chorus, the stay, 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 so good. And like I said in the pre-chorus, see in your eyes, you just went through war. And then at the end, I'm nothing like what you had before. Like, uh, so, uh, so, so good. I think it's my favorite pre-chorus so far. So just stunning. Like, I just think I'm rambling at this point, honestly, but I just loved it. Stay over, love pile. We just have to continue with the album because I just am really enjoying it so far. Track number six is called Are You Gonna Tell Her? and it features Mixac. Mmm, yes, 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 yes. Love it. <laughs> really building up for that chorus. <laughs> Mixac out here rapping in Portuguese. We love a song all about problematic lust. <laughs> I love that man, it's so sexy. Again with like killer ass outro, man. Oh, okay, you guys, that was track number six. That was Are You Gonna Tell Her featuring McZack. Love that shit. That was so fucking good. I loved it. I love the intro, and I love that instrumental at the end as well. There is a lot of Portuguese in it. One of the whole verses is in Portuguese, so luckily I'm reading the lyrics here. So basically, it like, roughly translates about this, the guy that she's seeing about also having the same feelings of lust towards her. So again, like I said, we love a song about problematic lust <laughs> all at a party and you just really want to bang, but you can't because they're within a relationship. Hilarious, but I loved it. So, so good. And that build up in the pre-chorus to the chorus, stunning. Outro, killer. I loved it. But yeah, you guys, I totally loved that. That was awesome. Track number seven is Jacques, and it's actually by Jax Jones, but it has Tovlo on the track. This was on his album, and it's also on Sunshine Kitty. Her voice sounds awesome. Oh, let me be an astronaut locked in your airspace. <clears throat> Love it. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God, yes. Oh, this is a hot track, dude. Love the whole house vibe on this. This is so hard. I love it. Can you imagine this live? Woo! Wow. 
Wow, you guys, that was track number seven. That was Jacques, Jack Jones, and Tovlo. And honestly, I love that. I love the entire house vibes on that. I can only imagine how wonderfully amazing that song would be live. I think she sounds great. I think the French on the song was fantastic. Just so catchy, so awesome. Like, I can't believe it, but like that's seven songs in a row that I've loved, but this may end up being one of my favorite pop albums of the entire year. And it's probably gonna be in my top five albums of the entire year in general. This is just so damn good so far. Again, that was Jacques and I absolutely loved it. Track number eight is called Mateo, and I wonder if that's the same Mateo that left the voicemail in the intro of this album. So we'll have to see. Track number eight, Mateo. Mm -hmm. Definitely think it's the same person in the intro. See, this is why I love reading lyrics when I listen to new music. So I guess Tolo talked about this song on Apple Music, and she said, Mateo is based on a guy that doesn't even know what he puts people who are falling for him through. Growing up, I was never the first one to be noticed. I was competing with beautiful girls who wanted the same guy as me that would always get the attention. You ask yourself, how do I get their attention if I have different things to offer? It's always embarrassing to be in love with the one person that everyone also wants. Definitely such a great insight on this track, and you can once again picture it as you listen to the song, but yeah, I loved reading that little blurb, and I just wanted to share it with you guys in case you didn't know. Can't fix no one, girl. He sounds like a piece of work, man. Mm. Love that bit that just had her vocals. All right, you guys, that was track number eight. That was Mateo. And again, I loved it. That was a great change in pace. A bit more of a mid-tempo right there. A bit slower, we brought it down a bit. I loved reading that blurb that Tovlo had to say about the song. I think it really just gave me so much more insight. And yeah, girl, you trust me, you do not need Mateo. He just sounds like a damn nightmare, if, if anything. It doesn't matter how bomb he looks or how bomb the dick is. It don't fucking matter. Don't fuck with that shit. Mm -mm. But... I thought that was an amazing song. I hope we're gonna get some of her beautiful ballads, hopefully at the end of this album, because that's what she usually puts her ballads more towards the end. But yeah, Mateo, track number eight. Absolutely loved it. Track number nine is called Come Undone, and I may have spoken a little too soon that the ballads were gonna be at the end, because this sounds like it absolutely could be a ballad. You guys already know if you watch my channel that I love ballads, I love slow songs. Oh, hopefully we're gonna get some tears pouring out of my eyes, because I also love to cry. I mean, I'm just an emotional person. Track number nine, again, is called Come Undone. Mm. <sighs> Preparing myself for the worst. Mm. Love how drawn out those notes are. I make a monsoon, wow. Beautiful imagery. So pretty, man. Love me. I love that lyric, man. I make a monsoon and it's about you. Mm. Okay, you guys, that was track number nine, Come Undone, and loved it. I mean, I'm sorry, this album is just so damn good so far. Beautiful, beautiful imagery. I mean, I kept saying it over and over, but I make a monsoon and it's about you. Such gorgeous imagery. I, just, I feel like I could feel the weight of the emotion, the weight of the pain, the weight of what this really is doing to her. It was just so stunning. I loved it, I loved it, I loved it. Both good and sad so far that we haven't had a full out ballad. Good only because I haven't cried yet. Sad because I want to cry. <laughs> but I loved it. I thought that was awesome. We're just doing so good. And honestly, I don't want this album to start. I know we're only about to get to track 10 out of 14, but this has just been so perfect so far. Track number 10 is called Equally Lost, and it features Doja Cat. I'm super excited and hyped for this collaboration. I'm very curious to see what it will sound like. I think Doja Cat 
it has one of the best spitting game out there right now. Her bars are great. I think she's really, really coming into herself, and she's just going to be a force to be reckoned with very, very soon. Very curious to see how she sounds on this track with Tovlo. And once again, this is track number 10, Equally Lost, featuring Doja Cat. This is produced by Matt Man and Robin. Ooh, it's gonna be good. Oh <laughs> yeah, yeah. I love the instrumental. Mmm. Oh, I just wanna wind the hips, man. Oh, go off. Come on, Doja. Yes. Oh, I love this so much, man. Okay, you guys, that was track number 10, Equally Lost featuring Doja Cat. So fire, so damn good. I loved it. Honestly, probably one of my favorite songs on the album so far. Probably top five at least. I'm only a little bit sad that it was so short. Doja's verse was fire. Loved it. I loved all of the tropical and island vibes that the song had. I thought it was really, really great. Like I said, I just wanted to wind my hips, and it just was so catchy. Like... This is just reconfirming to me that I need to buy tickets to see her on tour. I think she comes sometime early next year? Or is it could be at the end of this year? I think it might be December. I have to look into it, but I have to go. Ooh, it's just so good. I love it, love it, love it, love it. Yep, instant love, love that shit. Track number 11 is Really Don't Like You, and it features Kylie Minogue. I have been like overplaying this song ever since it came out. I think it's amazing. If you've heard it, I'm gonna play a bit of it. And if you haven't, enjoy the snippets that I have of this song. But once again, this is track number 11, Really Don't Like You, featuring the iconic Kylie Minogue. Ah, <sighs> the song. Party. Kylie sounds so good on this song, man. What I would do to see Kylie, man. Come on, Kylie. <laughs> Love that lyric too, man. Have to be you. I'm gonna cause myself to get a copyright claim just by singing. If this is not what you consider pop perfection for a chorus, don't even at me. Okay, you guys, that was track number 11. That was Really Don't Like You featuring Kylie Minogue. I loved it the second I played it the very, very first time. Like I said, I've been overplaying it. It's such a great song. It's seriously a like collaboration made straight from heaven. They sound amazing on the track together. I love Kylie. I think she sounds beautiful on the track. She adds so much to the song. And it's honestly such a perfect collaboration. That chorus is just, I love it. It's just so fantastic. Oh God, man, like that is like, like top tier level. That is some professional thing that they did there. That's just so good. This is not something they made. This is some professional like, and this, this is in different areas. What the This ain't no homemade They really don't make them like that, like anywhere. I think that song is just so beautiful. It's pure bliss, pure perfection. And that obviously goes into my love pile. Track number 12 is called Shifted. All right. This instrumental's sick. I'm getting back with the little production ads. Mm. Mm hmm Ooh, I love that. Whoop. Yeah, go off this. I'm just pausing it really quick because I have to just note that I think the phrasing that Tolo has in the majority of her songs is just so good, top tier, amazing, just so catchy, so uniquely her, and it just really brings a smile on my face. Yes. Oof, 
of you guys. Okay, that was track number 12. That was shifted. I really dug it. I really, really loved it. This album has just been so solid, so great, man. Like, everything's so fun. And once again, like I mentioned, the little bits of production, like, there was, like, a scratching sound or maybe, like, a lock being picked. I wasn't entirely sure what that sound was. But even in the chorus, that, like, ooh, like, that was so playful. It was so fun. So great, man. Again, that was shifted. Track number 13 is called Mistaken. Hmm. I love all these synths, man. I'm such a sucker. Mmm, so nice. Oh, man. I love this so much. My ballad queen, man. Ooh, yes. Ah. Such a sad lyric, man. That was track number 13, you guys. Ah, I loved it, I loved it. I was waiting for more of a ballad -y type song, and that was just perfect. I suspect the next track will also be a ballad, but oh, such gorgeous imagery once again. Her vocals, so great. The effect that they put on her vocals at the, just the right moments, stunning. I love that vocoder at the end. Such a beautiful song, such a sad song. So good, I would love to hear it live. I have to get tickets, please let me get tickets, God. Please let me get tickets. <laughs> so, so great once again. That was track number 13, Mistaken. <sighs> We've reached the end of the album, you guys. This is the final track, track number 14, and it's called Anywhere You Go. Mm. Dude, she has wonderful lyrics. I love that switch between the first and second half, man. I love that. Really love the contrast between the first and this part. It's so good. Uh, back at it again. Gorgeous outro. Uh, <laughs> Okay, you guys, that was track number 14, Anywhere You Go, and what a lovely way to conclude this entire album. Loved it, amazing. I really love the shift between the first half of the chorus and the second half. So smart, was not expecting that. Really just like, even though it is a sad song, not the ballad I was expecting, but just more enlightened, more empowered, a bit more uplifting to just really conclude this record. This record, man, so wonderful. This track, so wonderful. Anywhere you go, instant love, stunning. But yeah, you guys, that concludes the entire album. And honestly, I haven't heard such a great album like this in a while. I think it's absolutely flawless. I love every single track on this record. I think it's just perfect. Once again, Tovlo really outdid herself. Such a strong, piece of work and so worth the two year wait. I honestly have to see her now, like there's no way I can't. I loved it, loved it, loved it, so perfect. Ah, thank you so much Tovlo for such an amazing record. Sunshine Kitty is an instant love for me. And yeah you guys, that pretty much wraps up this reaction video to Tovlo's new album Sunshine Kitty. If you enjoyed this video, please let me know in the comments right down below. I love reading the things that you have to say and I love having conversations with you guys. It just really brings a highlight to my day and I would love to see what you have to say about this album. And again, if you enjoyed this video and you want to see more reactions like this in the future, please click that thumbs up button and don't forget to click the subscribe button. And if you are already subscribed, do yourself a favor, click that bell notification. You'll be notified whenever I upload new content and you'll be the first person to know about that. I can't wait to just play this album to death, you guys. I have to buy the album, like the vinyl and the physical CD. 
I love buying pieces of work that I just really connect with and this is absolutely one of them. I love this so much, you guys. Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for your support. I can't wait to do my next reaction for you guys to watch it. Until then, thank you so much for the support once again and I'll see you next time.